Alrighty boys, it is 2021 and we are back from our clutch hiatus. This is actually the uh, second clutch I've had this year, but the first clutch wasn't really interesting enough to where I actually wanted to make a video about it. But here we are, the female for this clutch was uh, my beautiful 2011 albino named Banana. Love her, she's given me a few great clutches over the years. And then the male is this boy right here. Now I hatched him out in 2019 from a banana spider enchi lesser cinnamon male that was bred to a pastel bongo female. And I'm not 100% sure what this guy is. His tub I have him labeled as a uh, banana enchi lesser pastel question mark. So since he was just bred to a simple recessive this season, Oh, that should help break down his genetics a little so we can identify the babies easier and actually identify what this dude is right here. He's awesome. He'll probably be for sale once I uh, figure out what he actually is. But let's go put him back inside and bring out the beautiful clutch that he sired and see what's going on. Alrighty, back like we never left. So, doing this in the shade right now, I don't really look better with flash or without flash probably just gonna do it without flash so this isn't like a crazy ten thousand dollar clutch or anything but still excited had that boy for like two years now and i didn't really know exactly what he was still don't so hopefully I can figure that out a little more here all these eggs are on day 56 so they should be more than ready to come out within a few days or so that won't be an issue. Alright, egg number one. And everything from this clutch is obviously going to be 100% pet albino. There's a nice little bonus. Right, egg one, what do we got? We got a banana thing! Gooey. Gooier than I thought they'd be. Eh, not really. Turn the flash on for this. We can do a little pan over at the end for all the eggs to see what they uh, really are. But that looks pretty cool, whatever it is. You know, I was just like 95% <laughs> sure that male didn't have bongo in him because that was a possibility from that pairing. But this looks funky for egg number one. Bongo is a weird gene, it varies a lot. Gooey boys! So. I wonder if there actually is bongo in some of these. Not getting that on camera at all, am I? Sorry guys, I'm new to this. What the f what? All right, it's gonna be one of those clutches, huh? So that looks... Like a <laughs> sterling? Pewter lesser? I don't know. <sighs> Thought this was gonna be an easy ID. All the genes broken down. Oh my god, I should have thrown more paper towels out here. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go inside and make a little paper towel run. BRB. Oakley Doakley, got more papes and I'm ready to go. Egg number three. See, this one's shriveled enough that I can actually, they were shriveled in the incubator and then I brought them out here and they kind of blew up on me a little and hardened up. But egg number three, what do we got? Oh. So, can't really tell from that angle. I can see what I think it is, but I know the camera's not going to be able to pick that up without me opening up a little more. Now that looks, folks, like a pastel. Maybe pastel enchi. It's a little reduced. So my camera timed out there for some reason, but 
It's definitely a pastel, probably a pastel inchy by the looks of it. So that means, uh, yeah, so the boys are at least a pastel banana inchy, pastel banana, rather. That last egg looks like he has cinnamon or something though, giving it that silvery washed out color. Can't really tell if that other egg's a pastel or a pastel inchy without taking a look at its head, but looks nice, nice and bright. Little orange. Ba Alrighty, so my camera cut off again. I have no idea what we filmed so far, but we're just gonna go from here. That's show business, baby. Let's go. This is egg number four. For those of us that are keeping track. Oh, you're kind of cool. Holy smokes. Look at that thing. Here, should I turn on flash for that? Flashing the baby snake. Yeah. That's a banana. See, I don't... Are these bongos? Mm. That's pretty dark for just a plain Jane banana. Uh, let's see when they come out. So, I guess my camera keeps cutting out because my phone is overheating, which is awesome. I guess the one time a year that it gets above 90 degrees is just too much for it. But, they never said being a professional snake tuber would be easy, and uh, I never expected it to be. So, we're gonna press on and open the fifth egg. Fifth egg. What do we got? Dude, these are all so weird. Alright, there has to be bongo or something in this. What is that thing? I thought this was going to be like a super easy clutch to identify, but we're getting weird looking lesser things. Oh, why should I just be like a pastel lesser? <laughs> Hyping it up for the camera. I don't know. Funky. Funky, funky. Let's see what that looks like when it comes out. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to try to do this quick before my phone shuts off again. So that's egg number five. We got three left. This is egg number six. Beep, 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 beep. Slicing away on a hot June day. Hello, I see an eye. There's some big eggs and big babies too. We haven't noticed. Dude, that thing looks cool. Hey -o. I don't know. Don't ask me what that is. My opinion's not important anymore. Inchy lesser thing? I don't know, folks. We will see when it comes out. Pool of goo over here is gross. How am I gonna clean this table? Whatever. Price to pay to hatch out some pretty babes. What are you, something darker? Hello. You're kinda... You're definitely an inchy, right? Yeah. Alright, that's easy. I think that's a plain old inchy. I know that one. I can guess that one any day of the week. All right. And she hit Albany. Oh my god, dude. Do you see this mucus? This amniotic fluid? Last egg. And then we can all go inside and pretend this mess never happened. There's some pretty good diversity in this clutch. I like it. Good first clutch video to start the year off. I got more after this, don't worry. We're just getting started here, folks. This is just a nice little appetizer. Oh, this one's already ready to come out. Look at your head. This one actually kind of looks... I don't know. We're getting like 
different variations of all the same lesser things. If that makes sense. Yeah, this is like a banana Enchi lesser thing. <laughs> kind of looks like the dad looked when he was in his egg. But, yeah. That's some good stuff here. I'm happy with these. This one's all ready to go. It might even be out by like tomorrow. But, that's the cutting. And you know what comes next. Stay tuned and uh, we'll give a little update when all these guys shut out. And maybe I have a better idea of what they are. Because right now, they're looking a little funky. Maybe that Enchi's just a normal. Looking at it now. I don't know. Oh, we gotta do the pan over in the sun to get the real colors going. Okay, we can do that quick. I'm capable of that. So what we learned is that direct overhead sunlight is probably not the best for uh, getting their real colors, so we move locations to a little brighter spot in the shade. I wish I knew how to film nice videos. Hey, if you know how to film nice videos, comment below and tell me everything I'm doing wrong. Yeah, these are some good looking babies. Diverse clutch. Love it. I like that one. Simple. <laughs> we got the weird sterling, lesser pewter, whatever thing. See, none of these other babies look like them. So I don't know what's going on with them. There actually is bongo in this one. Well, okay. So, it's probably a pretty good time to do the update on this clutch because I know if I wait any longer, these guys are gonna go through a shed again. Also, at the end of this video, I have another clutch that I didn't record the cutting of, but I can just include that at the end of this video. It was that same male bred to a bumblebee this time, but we can show those guys too. They all just came out of the eggs a couple days ago, so they're not quite going into shed yet, but they're going to be if we wait any longer, so we can just film those before they all shed out. But without further ado, we can show off these bad Johns. Oh. Alright, who we put them first? Who we put them first? Let's go everywhere. Alright, so... Let's start out with the... Get out of here, get out of here. I'm trying to pick this one. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A tub of snakes is worse than a can of worms. Can't open that again. <laughs> Look at these things. <laughs> Gonna be tougher than I thought doing this with one hand. But here we go, first baby. In the egg, I think I was uh, so sure this was an inchy. And then I remembered that uh, a couple of years ago I had that same female albino throw out normals and they looked just like this, where a little bit reduced, a little bit orange, because I don't think this is an inchy. This is a normal head albino, but super, super nice. All right, I gotta open that again. I'll do my best. So when I was cutting some of these eggs, it was looking like some of the babies had cinnamon in them, which couldn't be because that male had Enchi, and his father had both cinnamon and Enchi. So that male that sired this clutch could only be Enchi or cinnamon. It can't be both since Enchi and cinnamon are allelic. But the mother that produced that male had bongo. So Turns out that male has bongo as well, since this is a banana bongo, and we also have some other bongo things laying around, but I wasn't really expecting that male to have bongo, I thought he was just a pastel banana lesser enchi, but I guess bongo uh, and enchi are kind of like banana and lesser, where they kind of mask each other a little bit, so it's not as uh, extreme of a reaction as you would think. But this guy looks fantastic. I hope the camera's picking that up. Here, let's put him on something a little more contrasting than my hand. Stay. Banana 
bongo 100% head albino. He's awesome. The next one that also confirms that male can't be cinnamon is this lesser Enchi. So it's clear that that male is Enchi. Awesome girl, lesser Enchi head albino. Try to go through these quick. Another Enchi we got, this pastel Enchi head albino female. She's looking hot. Now, this one's probably my favorite in the clutch, even though he's not even a bongo. This is a banana lesser enchi. Super simple, but he's just super clean, and his patterns are just ultra vibrant, really. Hope the camera's doing that justice. Awesome, boy. And then we can just do a quick comparison here of the uh, lesser enchi female with the banana lesser enchi male. It's not a huge difference, really. Like I said, the banana and lesser kind of mask each other very well, but you can see there how the bottom one has banana and the top one is just lesser. Where the banana's not as uh, vibrant, it's more of like a toned down, mellow look. Now we have our final two bongo boys. I put all their clutch mates back just for uh, squirm control purposes, but this first one, I believe, is a Banana, bongo, lesser, and then pastel just because of how much lighter he is and less saturated compared to what a banana without pastel would look like. And then this other boy right here, I believe, is the uh, same thing as the dad minus his pastel gene. So this would be a banana, lesser, bongo, and then enchi as well. So I'll try giving everyone in this clutch their first meals sometime next week, but everyone seems to be doing great so far. Some of these were uh, theoretical IDs as you can tell because there's not a whole lot of three and four gene bongo combos that you can just look up and reference, but we do what we can. I'm pretty confident in these, what they are. Everything's 100% uh, head albino too. But now we can go check out that other clutch. It was the same father, so a uh, banana, bongo, lesser, enchi pastel that was bred to a bumblebee. I didn't uh, record the egg cutting just because, according to my YouTube analytics, I don't think a single person would want to watch a 30 minute <laughs> snake cutting video, but whatever. We'll show you the results anyways because they are pretty cool animals that came out. Got some spider bongo stuff I'm not 100% sure on what those IDs are either, but I'll check them out, and if anyone has any ideas, let me know in the comments. Also, nothing here is going to be a hold back, so if anyone's interested in any of these, let me know before I throw them on Morph Market when they've had their meals and are all ready to go. But you can go check out that other clutch right now, and I'll stop talking. Alrighty. Now we have that uh, same male to the bumblebee clutch, and look at these spicy serpents, I'll tell you what. So, <laughs> I wanted to just get this out of the way now before everyone starts going into shed. So these guys haven't even had their first shed yet, came out of the egg like two, three days ago. And they look phenomenal. So you can start with this uh, first one that is going into shed, and I'll put a lid on the others real quick so we don't have any escapees. But this little girl right here, I haven't sexed with them, I'm just assuming because uh, this one's not banana, so it should be a female. It doesn't have to be, but probability is that it is, so. But something else that I forgot to mention in that first clutch is that if that uh, original sire was in fact cinnamon, then all of these babies would be either cinnamon or enchi, but we have babies that aren't either, like this lesser. So that uh, kind of confirms my theory that it is, in fact, bongo stuff we're working with instead of some cinnamon enchi weirdness. But our first baby, a little lesser. They get crazier from here, I promise. Next up is this awesome 
Uh, what, what do we call you? Banana? <laughs> Next up is this awesome banana enchi. He looks great. I love hatching these. They don't really get any, uh, what do you call them? Freckles as they age. They kind of stay pretty clean and bright. I have a guy that I sold one of these to a couple years ago and he still sends me update pictures from time to time and that snake still looks phenomenal even as a full grown adult, but banana enchi. None of these are head albino because it was the bumblebee that was the mother, not the uh, albino like the other clutch, but these are still fantastic. Focus. Yeah. And we have two of these that'll try to wrangle at the same time. These are both uh, banana lessers. See again how the banana and lesser interact with each other. These are both super cool. One's a little uh, lighter than the other, but the other one has kind of a wilder pattern. So pick your favorite. Oh no. Here we go. Dual wielding snakes. Next beautiful baby is this. I don't think this has bongo in it. I think this is a uh, Enchi Bumblebee or Enchi Killer Bee. I'm probably leaning towards killer based on how clean that head is. And also those eye stripes I've seen with uh, the Enchi Killer Bees. Because if it was a Bumblebee, it would have kind of a way more head pattern. This thing is uh, super cool nonetheless. It'll be easier to tell whether it's a Killer Bee or a Bumblebee after it goes through a few sheds. Let's see how light it is, but I don't know. Might be killer. Might be Bumble. Determine in the comments below. Alright, this is our last baby before getting into the really wacky stuff. I'm trying to go through these a little quick just because I don't think anyone's going to want to watch a 25 plus minute snake video, but I think this is a uh, queen bee or a killer queen bee. I don't really think it has bongo. Because you're going to see the other bongo spiders we've hatched. And I think uh, this said bongo would look a little more wild than what it does. So right now I'm going to stick with uh, either queen bee or killer queen. Again, we'll see when it goes through a couple sheds what it looks like. But those are my thoughts for now. Next up is probably my favorite snake in this whole clutch. I believe this is a uh, bongo spider enchi or a bongo stinger bee. I love that head. This thing is so cool, I can't wait to see what it looks like when it actually sheds out. I know I said I wasn't going to keep anything from this clutch, but if I was going to, probably be this one. I assume this is a female. Let me give that a quick checkeroo, because it's not banana, so as a 90% chance of it actually being a female, 90, 95. Yep, that is a girl. So, okay. We'll see whether or not I keep this thing. Looks so cool with its golds. I wonder if the camera's picking that up. Kind of reminds me of how a uh, leopard spider looks with like its gold hue. Anyways. All right, second to last baby, we have this creature. Like cruising through these, aren't we? But it's getting a little dark. There we go. There's the light. I believe this is a uh, banana bongo spider. Not really sure if it has enchi or not. It might. Look how reduced it is. But I hatched a banana cinnamon spider, I think, last year. I'll put a picture of that up if I can find it. But it didn't look anything like this. So once again, I think that cements my. Uh, bongo theory pretty firmly on this clutch because cinnamon doesn't make snakes like this as far as I know but yeah this dude's gonna be really awesome for someone you can tell the snakes I really like looking at versus the ones I don't because I uh, spend more than 15 seconds showing them off and 16 17 18 seconds sorry your time's up buddy Final baby from the bumblebee clutch is this genetic monstrosity. No, I'm kidding. You're beautiful. I just don't know what you are. So, it's clearly a... Uh, I mean, I would assume it's bongo. It's a pretty wild-looking snake. Bongo, banana, 
I did check, it's a male, so. Banana. Super pastel. I don't know if it has spider or not. Might. We'll do a little uh, wobble check later on. It kind of seems like it has spider through its pattern. But, I'm not really sure what this dude is, but he is awesome. I'm very curious to see what he looks like after a few sheds, because I just think he's just going to get more and more colorful with age and size, but... Terrific little baby. These two clutches were a pretty big surprise. I wasn't really expecting anything too, too cool or complex from them, but we ended up getting some really nice stuff. Just goes to show when you hatch out a snake and you're like, oh, I think it has this, and then you go on the forums and then 10 people say, no, I don't think it has that. Then two years later, you breed it yourself and then you realize, oh, it did have that. Trust your guts, folks. <laughs> ball python breeding is serious business. Alright, I'll go put all these guys back now so they can moisturize up and have a nice clean shed. Maybe I'll try feeding them next week too, depending on which day they actually start shedding out. But very, very happy with these beauties. Alrighty, we'll do one final pan over. And then we're done, YouTube. We're done. It's a long video. I don't know who would sit through this. Don't you have anything else to do today? Look at those. Woo! Sure! <laughs> Alright, bye YouTube.